Hi Dinesh, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah, myself is Dinesh. I'm, I'm from Chennai. So I have a total 3.10 years of experience in a test engineer. In that uh, 3.6 years, uh, 3.6 years as automation uh, automation and uh, six months as a manual tester. So in my company, we, we follow agile methodology. In that uh, we follow, uh, we perform our test, uh, testing activities like test design, test plan, test execution, requirement analysis and testing sign off. Apart from that, I participated in um, uh, agile ceremonies like uh, sprint planning, grooming, uh, stand up call, uh, sprint review, sprint retrospective, etc. So I have worked in two domains, e-commerce and e-airline. Um, so we use uh, Maven as a build tool. And I have worked in uh, two frameworks like TestNG and Cucumber. Apart from that, uh, we use uh, Jira as a error log. For error log, we use uh, Jira. And uh, we use uh, Git for a source code management tool. So that is it. Okay, great. So can you tell us something about the automation framework that you are? Yeah, sure. So we use a Maven as a build tool. So Maven is basically used to build, uh, Maven is basically used to use as a project a build tool, or we can manage a dependencies, we can run a test, test cases, and we can able to report uh, we can able to generate the report in Maven. Mm. So Maven may uh, uh, it work on mainly two aspects. It uh, describe how the software is built, and uh, it we can able to manage the dependencies. So mm. in Maven, uh, the text execution always start from palm dot xml. Uh, in palm dot xml, we will manage all our dependencies and all. So mm. apart from that, uh, in Maven life cycle as a in Maven life cycle, we follow a clean install test. So whenever we change the version, it will clear the old version and it will automatically install the new version uh, files, etc. So apart from that, we have a, in Maven, we have a repositories like central repository, local repository, remote repository. So mm. basically local repository is like uh, uh, where our, all the files store in our local system. Remote rep repository is like a custom repository where we'll manage the codes like we, which we follow in Git. Uh, central repository is like a, it store all, it's where all the project artifacts are stored. Mm -hmm. So other than that, we, for, we have a base class where, where, we use, uh, where we use to store all the reusable methods. Um, apart from that, we, uh, we have a POM, where we maintain all the locators for the particular web pages. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, so we are, so that's it for uh, me. Okay. So, how many team members are working with you in the automation? So, in my team member, we have a eight member strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, two, two developer, two tester, one scrum master, BA, and lead. So, so two testers are there. So you and one more person with you, both are yeah. developing, both are doing manual testing and both are doing automation. Yeah. Okay. Great. So do you automate every day? Like, uh, or is it like first you have to do manual testing and then you have to do automation or sometimes you have to do, just do automation. No, while writing a test case uh, itself, we will split uh, where, which and all we need to uh, automate and which and all we need to do a manual. For example, like uh, for some test cases like uh, barcode, Q, uh, QR code, mm. OTP, that and all we can't able to do automate. So mm. that type of scenario, we will do a manual testing. So rest of the thing we will do automate. Okay. Now consider a sit situation where you have to upload a file, right, as a part of your automation. So is it possible via Selenium? Yeah, we can use a, um, we can use a click method or we can use by using a, 
um, action and our robot class, we can able to upload a file. Otherwise, we can use uh, we can also use by auto IT. But uh, I didn't work in auto IT. But uh, so we can use uh, with help of our robot and action class, we can able to achieve. We can able to upload the file in Selenium. Correct. Correct. What is Sequoia? What is Sequoia? Sequoia. I don't know. Okay. So consider a scenario where you have to automate something with respect to image recognition, right? You are not able to get those locators. You are, you are not able to identify those elements. So Sequoia yeah. is again a third party, similar to kind of auto IT with the help. Okay. So those libraries are also open source and with the help of which you would be able to identify the uh, images. You have to save some image in the destination folder first. And then okay. during runtime, it would go and check, okay, the runtime image is similar to what the, the image that you have saved in the file path location kind of, right? Yeah. So that is Sequoia. Okay. So. Fine. What is, uh, okay. So let's say, as you have mentioned, one other team member is also working with you. Now, now as it's a two team members team, so there will be very less chances of happening conflicts. But how do you resolve merge conflicts? Uh, like in so in Git, you are asking, huh? Yes, yes, Git. So basically, we will pull the updated code from the Git. Mm. So when we pull the updated code, it will reflect in uh, Eclipse as a yet and tile. So in yet, we will have the uh, conflict code, and in tile, we have the updated code. So in tail, we, from the tail, we will uh, arrange the line according to our master branch. Mm -hmm. So again, after we rearrange the codes, we will again upload, we will again push the code in Git. So from that, we will give a pull request. So from pull request, the team lead or uh, uh, BA will review the code and give the merge, merge request mm -hmm. and merge the code with the master. Okay. Now, can you write a sample code for page factory class? Page factory class. Mm -hmm. Should I use in um, Eclipse? Uh, yeah, you can use Eclipse or any other ID or even if you are comfortable with Notepad, that is also fine. Yeah, okay, can... yeah you just have to uh, click on green button, share your screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait a minute. Is it audible? Is it visible? Yes. This is your personal laptop, laptop right? Yeah. So what you asked to write, can you repeat the question again? Yeah, yeah. So you need to write a sample code for page factory class, and then you need to write sample code for page action class. Page factory. So for page factory, mm. So first we will I, I will create the non-parameterized constructor. Is it like Pojo class page factory means? No, not that one. Sorry? No, no, that's not a Pojo class. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, no. Can one. you give some hint? Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll I'll give you the answer. Let me share yeah. my screen. Yeah, so I am sharing my screen. So your screen sharing will be stopped. Yeah. Okay. So if anyone is asking you, uh, you know, to write page factory class sample code, right? So what is page factory? Yeah, with when that. that you have this at the rate find by element, this you yeah, would have the find by and find by. Yeah. Okay. So you just have to. Yeah, make yeah now I got it. Thing, right. Okay. 
right because see at times what happens uh, at the time of interviews neither you would be wish wishing to uh, you know demo your companies or organization's code neither they will ask you but they okay. want to know whether you are actually uh, having good hands on experience or good knowledge on this uh, page object page factory or all these things so they will just okay. ask you to write some sample code right yeah okay okay so this is how it is now can you try for page actions class a sample code for page action class okay just hmm. so page action class hmm. so first of all i will create the object for a action mm -hmm. just to wait a minute you can take your time to recall no issues okay, first we will create the uh, i think in this folder the cell name is not um, mm -hmm. updated so can i use a notepad sure sure you can but in a real time interview make sure you have these things uh, you know updated they will definitely yeah, okay. ask you to write something if you have if you are applying for automation profile no yeah yeah okay So in action, we have a different methods like a move to element, drag and drop, key up, key down, mm. context click, double click, etc. Right. So depending so, on our depending on our requirement, whether we need to use a move to element or double click or context click, we use with the help of action class reference. We will use uh, that particular method. For example, for For double click, I will use this method. So we need to mention the web element reference here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Is it correct? Okay. So so this is uh, the selenium action class right yeah yeah but if anyone is asking you about page actions class okay yeah so page action class is uh, let me show you right so let's say in the page action class, what you would do is you would first declare web driver declare, type, okay. right? then whichever page objects you have. So you will be creating, let me move this. You will be creating an instance of to the page factory class, right? This is the instance okay. of that page factory class. Then in the page actions uh, method, what you would do is actually you would set the web driver for current page action, right? So this okay. is page actions class. Right. Now, if someone is asking you the action slash with respect to click, right click and all those, uh, you know, mouse actions. So that is okay. the one that you were telling. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got okay. a little confused. Okay. Yeah. No issues. Now, one more question is there. <laughs> what yeah. is the difference between action and actions in Selenium? Let me stop sharing the screen. Yeah. Okay. Actions and actions. Yeah. Action so, and actions. Okay. So mm -hmm. actions is a actions is a class and action is an interface. Correct, correct. Mm. So under the action actions, mm -hmm. we have a uh, methods like uh, move to element, drag and drop, double click, context click, etc. So in action, if we, it will be I think it will use to 
um, for build option for build we will use a uh, action interface i think right right so action is an interface it would represent a single user interaction class right while actions okay. is a class that would extend the object class you mentioned it very right yeah okay now let me share my screen this is a manual testing scenario based question okay okay do you want me to zoom yeah little bit now is it visible yeah okay now you have to tell me the five positive and five negative scenarios right the use cases let's say you are testing a windows service process okay, okay. now the process monitors various multiple file like the directories local file system is the network shares is there for files to appear now as they appear it will capture the information in a database and makes a web service call and moves the file to indicate that it has been processed right so you have to cover test scenarios for local file system as well as network shares right so how will you test this uh, you need to tell five positive and five negative test scenarios testing of windows surface plus of the process Negative scenarios. Mm, I'm not sure. I couldn't be able to tell it. Okay. See, this is a Windows service process. Okay. Okay. So, so multiple file directories are there. So you can consider, you know, uh, multiple file types like uh, PNG file types are there. XLS. And then again, XLS X is also one of the file type in Excel only. Excel mm. SM is there, macro based file type. Then CSV is there, Notepad files are there, Word documents are there. These all will come into your test data. Okay. Okay. So in a real time interview, you have to start that this all will be my test data. Now local file system. So when you are, uh, you would be validating these various file types. So that is one positive scenario. Okay. Another would be with respect to file size. For example, the file size is 1 KB, 10 KB, 50 KB, 100 KB, mm. 0 KB file also you can test as a negative test scenario. Okay. Okay. Then the third thing you will be testing that the you will be validating in the database the proper entry is made on. Or it should not happen that the file is, for example, there will be some flag kind of mechanism that developers would have kept. For example, if the file is okay. processed, so they will update the value in the database as 1. If the file is not mm. processed, they will update the value as zero. So that also you can test in the database based testing, right? Okay. Now fourth is, uh, okay, over here, one more uh, scenario comes up that uh, uh, when you are transferring single file, the another scenario, you are transferring multiple files at a time. Okay. Right? So there will be one scenario where at a time you are uh, processing 50 files, 100 files. Then mm -hmm. Is the system going down or not, right? Yeah. Negative use case can be, now negative uh, would be more covered in the network share. Let's say if the network gets disconnected at the time of file transfer, or okay. if you are connected to the network at your home and you are using VPN and your VPN got disconnected, then what would happen? So those are negative. Okay or at the time of network sharing let's say internet goes down mm. right? so again your uh, machine would be out of the network it won't be in the domain of the organization right yeah so these are all the scenarios that you can tell okay What is test ng? So test ng is a test driven development TDD framework. So mm -hmm. in test ng, we can able to, uh, it will, in test ng, it will automatically 
generate the HTML report. In testmg, we can set the priorities. We can say uh, we can pause the parameter in testmg XML tag, and uh, we can able to pause. We can able to use the data provider for using for pausing a bulk data. We can able to group the test scenario. We can able to um, use the assertion. We can able to use assertion uh, like odd assets and soft assets are possible. We can able to perform a um, parallel execution also in TestNG. So these are the some advantages of TestNG. So in TestNG, we have a total nine annotations like uh, test, uh, test suit, test uh, before, test class, test method, uh, test groups, at test and after class, after the after suit, after test, after uh, methods, after group, etc. Mm -hmm. Right. Now consider a scenario where you have to validate uh, the color of some particular element is displayed green or red. So those kind of color testing you have to do. So is it possible in Selenium automation? Can you repeat the question? Sure. So let's say uh, you are uh, automating us. You are automating an application, and in that yeah. application there is a button, and that button color okay. is green. Now you have to automate, and you have to uh, develop an automation script to validate that every time that button's color is green only. So is is it possible to achieve via Selenium automation? Yeah, I think we can use a JavaScript executor. Mm -hmm. to achieve it javascript executor for identifying the color yeah i think so mm -hmm. okay right so let this be an open question for the people who are watching this video so the scenario is uh, we have to automate a button and we have to validate via automation that that button color is green only every time so how can that be achieved via selenium automation Okay. Now, what is Jenkins? What is Jenkins? So mm -hmm. Jenkins are we use uh, Jenkins in a Cucumber framework. Mm -hmm. So in it is used to write the steps in a future file in simple format. Like in J, we have a Jenkins keywords like future scenario mm -hmm. sorry 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 i got confused with okay 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 jenkins is um you jenkins we use jenkins for a cid and a cd integration so continuous integration and continuous development process we use a jenkins so jenkins is mainly used for a, a regression test and we can able to schedule the Test scripts when we have to test, and we can. It is also for used for a deployment, uh, project build, and a um, project build and a project test, etc. So for this and all, we mainly use uh, Jenkins. Mm -hmm. So it's a CI CD tool, and it yeah you to trigger the automation, right? And there are various yeah, yeah. pipelines that you would be creating within that, and in each pipeline you will be having various strings. Sorry, various stages, right? Mm. So in all those stages, you can explain. Okay. Yeah. Now you have to write a Java program, and you need to print all the duplicate characters that are uh, coming in your uh, coming in string. So you can consider any string. You can uh, write this Java program in the Notepad file, or in the maybe any ID that you are comfortable with, right? So consider a string is automation, right? Consider a string is automation and we have to print the duplicate characters coming in that string. Print all the duplicate characters. Print all the duplicate characters. So for Java program for all the duplicate characters.
Mm. I'm not sure about the program. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. And I'll show you the answer. Yeah. Can you can you think something about the logic? What logic you would be applying? So for removing the duplicates, we use a set method. Like uh, we will uh, get the, all the characters with mm. help of list list, and uh, from that we will uh, convert the list into a set to remove all the duplicates. Mm. So for printing only a duplicates, I'm not sure about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. I think we can use a retain all method with the help of retain all method we can able to oh, that is also for two string compared to compared to the two string mm -hmm. no i have no idea no worries is my screen visible yeah let me click okay. with the help of hash map. Mm -hmm. so what we can do is we can use hash map over here right the hash okay. map allows you to create a hash uh, you know you can create a hash map of the type one with the character and one with the int then okay. whichever string you take you know in the interview you might get a string or you might be asked to take a string i was just uh, thinking on your name but your name uh, does not has repeated characters okay right? so uh, so what what we would do is using hash map we will convert contain the traverse character right it would check and if it is present then increment the count or else insert the character in the hash map with frequency equal to one so what we okay. would do is basically we will have uh, multiple for loops and in that for loop we will be having if condition right so first okay. we will be having char character array right array. right and then in the for loop for each checking for each character of the character array for that we have mm. for loop and then we will have an if condition if the character is present in map then we have to increment it counts by one else one yeah if the character is not present in the map right okay then we would be putting like this character into the map with one as it is that particular value right and at the end we would be so we would be traversing this hash map okay right and then again we the second for loop is for basically to test whether the count of the character is greater than one because sometimes what happens mm. is uh, let's say if the string is automation right so a is coming twice over here t is also mm. coming twice o is coming twice what about uh, let's say if some uh, character is uh, there like uh, okay they ask you for automation automation right so mm. in this, A is coming four times, right? So they will again test whether it is coming one time. So what is the count, right? Okay. So first we will increment it by one, right? Then we will traverse through the hash map and look for such characters with the frequency more than one, right? Because, okay. because we have to print these characters with their respective frequencies as well. That is also possible, right? They might ask you, just print the duplicated characters or they might ask you to print the character with their frequency for example a is coming four times if mm. we write two times this if we write only this then a is coming two times t is coming two times so this is how and then at the end we have string which needs to be processed the main code this is the driver code we will be calling this mm. function of count duplicate characters right this count duplicate characters we had developed over here Okay, a string which we okay. Now, can you give me a diff uh, an example of a defect with high severity and low priority? High severity, low priority. Hmm. Okay, high severity, low priority. Okay, so so for a particular set of users, some like we use a different browsers, no Chrome, 
Firefox, Internet Explorer, etc. So for set of uh, people, those who are using uh, like uh, Internet Explorer, for that particular uh, in the for particular user, those using Internet browsers only can a not able to for like example for purchase a product like that. That scenario will come under the ICVRT low priority issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, can can you give me some specific example? Uh, specific example. Yeah, the different browsers version. Oh, that's an example. That's one example. You need another one. So that would come in high severity, low priority. Yeah, because the uh, mm, the if the um, it would impact a particular set of users, but the, the but most of the users don't use the Internet Explorer. Many shifted to Chrome or Firefox. No, so this come under the ICVRT and low priority okay. cases. So some scenario you are telling that is not working in X browser, but it is working in another browser. So that is high severity, low priority. Okay. What is the difference between test plan and test strategy? Test plan and test strategy. Hmm. So in test plan, um, okay, in test plan we will plan uh, um, which uh, user user stories and all um, we need to achieve in this particular sprint or not. So that is a test plan. Test strategy is like. Uh, um, how to in uh, we will in what estimate time we have to do the um, we have to finish that um, test user story like who and all have to share and use that belong to this test strategy mm -hmm. so test strategy is nothing but it is a set of guidelines that would explain okay like how the testing needs to be done right test okay. planning is more of a plan and what needs to be tested right okay. so it would have various uh, components are there like features to be tested what is the scope of testing what is not in testing who would be testing okay. how, like uh, are they going which to, environment we will conduct yeah are they going to do manual testing or automation testing okay those all things would come in the test uh, test plan. Data. no no test plan okay 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 now what is usability testing can you give what me is? some usability testing Usability testing. Hmm. No, I don't know. Okay. So usability testing is nothing but it's a kind of uh, user experience based testing, right? It's a testing okay. method which would uh, help us to measure how easy and how user friendly a software application is, right? So the ease of use that is more, you know. Uh, we get this come to know from usability testing. Okay. okay. So that is usability yeah. testing. Okay, Dinesh, I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Can you give a feedback and in which in in which part I have to improve and what need to what and all I need to do for a easy interview for. A, get placed in an interview, clear interview, okay. can you give some tips? So, so one of the thing is, uh, you know, about the Java programming, you will definitely get questions on Java programming. You will be asked to write the code and one okay. more level they will dig down, like how will you op optimize this code? So such kind of things are being asked in an interview. So please uh, revisit okay. concept of Java properly. Those things are going to come to you for sure. And then, you know, concepts like page factory, page class, assertions mm -hmm. all these things will be asked then types of testing like right? usability testing is there non-functional mm -hmm. function testing right what are the differences those things mm -hmm. you have to revisit then i think uh, rest of the things look good okay anything else dinesh yeah that's it okay thank, thank you, you so for much. conducting a mock interview yeah thank you so much dinesh and all the best for your career yeah thank you